Welcome back to our Viper Extended series. Today we present you the Stealth Burner mod. We developed it together in our community in a project of several developers. We thank them all for their support. Today we will start the video series on it. We want to divide it in four parts. In the first part, we introduce the whole project and describe what the Stealth Burner is. In the second part, we have a look at the materials needed and where you can buy them. In the third part, we will assemble the Stealth Burner. And in the fourth part, we will integrate it into Clipper and start our first print. Well, let's start with the first part. We will introduce you to the Stealth Burner mod and where it comes from. The Stealth Burner was developed by Team Boron as a successor to Afterburner. It is currently in beta phase, but there are already a lot of STL files available. With these files, we were able to design a conversion for the Viper. Why is it useful to convert to the Stealth Burner? Firstly, it has a better part cooling. Further, you are more flexible in various things. For so here, the currently possible hot ends. There are, for example, the Fetus BMO, BMS, Dragon, and Rapido and also the E3D Revo Micro, Revo 6, and the E3D V6. Besides, we have the possibility to replace the original sensor, because it is very susceptible to failures. With the modification, we can install a BL Touch, a Clicky Probe, or the Prusa Superpinder. As a result, you can freely choose the sensor technology. In addition, one also has the option to install a direct extruder instead of a Bowden extruder, seen here in the video. Also in terms of plug and print, the print head is also mounted on an adapter plate. Then it's screwed to the metal support. It can thus be mounted and dismounted via four screws. This means that it is possible to return to the old print head at any time. Furthermore, LEDs in the form of NeoPixels can be connected with the help of a small PCB board. Due to the color variations, you can use the LED to display the current print status and printer status. Moreover, you have the possibility to use different light colors. In order to use this optimally, our community has developed a PCB board. This is attached to the print head and makes it possible for us to connect the various sensors and NeoPixels. We will discuss this in more detail in part 2. If you are interested or have any questions, you are always welcome to join our Discord server. The link can be found in the video description below. In the next part, we will take a closer look at the required materials. The video will be divided into two parts. In the first part, we will present the material list. The mentioned PCB board will be presented separately. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment. With a subscription and a like, you could further support our work. Thank you for your attention.